What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Before we do get into today's news, remember hit that subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know on everything stars as we have constant breaking news here on the channel. So it appears that Daisy Ridley's Rey reportedly has an Obi-Wan Kenobi type of role in Simon Kingberg's Star Wars trilogy that was broken by Bespin Bulletin. Now, there are a lot of question marks for this movie. A lot of question marks, you know, since the original writer had you know basically exited from the film and everybody thought that the movie was going to be delayed i mean i'm sure it's still going to have some delays and there's going to be some pushbacks and now there's going to be a different vision so it's not going to be that same you know script that she probably read i mean again he's going to come in probably clean house and have a different view because again we didn't even know that this was even going to be brought up about you know her kind of emulating a kenobi type of a character in the new trilogy but there was something here that was said, and they, when they were talking about it, it, it seems like this. That the Hollywood Reporter followed up by confirming that Kingberg was writing a Star Wars trilogy, and that the trilogy was not part of the Skywalker saga. Alright, that has me there a little bit. So, it's not a part of that, but still kind of is, in some way. But anyway, let's keep reading. But that they believed that the trilogy was not episodes 10 to 12. However, they did mention that the trilogy would focus on a new story and new characters, but that some familiar faces from the Skywalker saga could pop in the films. So right there, you already know they are reaching for Skywalker content, which means they're going to touch stuff from the George Lucas era and trilogy. So that right there, I mean, they're saying that they're not, but there's new characters, but there's you're going to see some familiar faces. So for me i will say this it's already upsetting because i think the fact that they're mentioning that there's going to be familiar faces is problem is problematic because i'm here thinking that if you're going to do a new trilogy something different that's not touching the skywalker saga which i think a lot of people want to see something different even those who did enjoy the sequel trilogy you want a taste of something new something fresh at least i do and if you're going to give us something don't touch the stuff from, you know, the OTs or the prequel trilogy. Leave George's stuff alone. Let it, let it just, let it rest in peace. Give us something new. I mean, look, I know that Ewan McGregor is happy to be back. Hayden Christensen is happy to be back. But if you incorporate them in this, I think it's going to really dilute a lot of, of stuff. I mean, I think it's just going to be a real F you to a lot of stuff. And I think that they need to leave these characters alone. Listen, Disney, if you want to do stuff with you know, you and McGregor and Hayden Christensen do little shows, do little movies, whatever you want to do with them. That has nothing to do with this timeline. I mean, we are so far out. Utilize what you have stuff from the Mandalorian era. That's good stuff. But you don't need to sit there and touch the old stuff. I mean, you are so far out. Like I said, I think you can give us something different that has nothing to do with the Skywalker lineage at this point. Now, there is some talk potentially that she might emulate as well of a luke skywalker you know post return of the jedi so i think that would make more sense i don't know really why they would want to go the route or i don't think they should go the route of the kenobi kind of like emulation but i could understand why they would want to go that route because again they did incorporate right his voice in when he says ray these are your first steps you know in the sequel trilogy maybe there's some sort of lineage to that in a sense of like maybe she has a connection to kenobi now i hope not because again i don't want to see him in these movies it has a force ghost or anything i think it will just really really ruin a lot of things but hey that's just my opinion i think at the end of the day if you're going to give any star wars content that is after the skywalker saga listen how i said after do something different don't touch what is already done just let it be again like i've always been in the middle but i'm at this point i want to see something different something new like get creative with it you know what i'm saying so at this point i mean i don't know how i feel about it i think i'm a little kind of i'm a little disappointed but also confused i want to see how this is going to play out i'm sure not well and a lot of people are going to be upset about it but then you have people that are going to be okay with it which is fine i mean again to each their own but overall I think they need to just let these characters in the Skywalker saga really rest in peace, as The Undertaker would say. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. Light it up in the comment section and smash that like and subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.